What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are in the sixth part of my declutter series. So much going on, so much stuff to declutter. Again, I do this probably every six months. Um, I'm doing it slightly a little bit early but also late because I, I did one during Christmas time um, and now it is May, about to be June, but I have acquired a lot more stuff because I've bought a lot more stuff. Uh, I've also had a lot of points to use. It, well, I got stuff during Christmas time, gift cards. So I just came up upon time to do it ahead of time, then waiting. Might as well seize the moment while I have time to do it. So that is why we are here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into this video so you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, join me this video a big thumbs up because it helps me so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me, your girl Sandra D. And let's just go ahead and get into it. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel if this is your first time here. Hello, I'm Sandra D. I post videos two to three times a week or try my best to. They are beauty, makeup, and lifestyle videos. I also do vlogs, hauls, uh, thrifting, so many other good things. Giveaways here on my YouTube channel, which I actually have a giveaway going on somewhere in the midst of my um, decluttering series. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out the playlist down below. Because typically what I will do is I will just throw in a giveaway randomly in here. I also do a bigger one at the very end after I declutter my makeup collection and put together a package for you guys. Um, and it's normally my giveaways are anywhere between just U.S. or also international or all the above. I try to make sure I take care of all of my followers um, and make sure you guys all feel valued for your time being here and watching my channel and loving my content. So I appreciate this so, so much. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to go searching for it because there is a giveaway going on somewhere in the midst of some of these previous videos. Um, but we are also nearing towards the end of this decluttering series. So without further ado, we're just going to jump into this. I think we're going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow palettes and knock that one out the gate because there's three drawers of that. And then I've got two more drawers after that to do. So this is part six, I think, or part seven. I don't know, but it'll be in the thumbnail and in the title and we will figure it out. So let's just go ahead and jump into this again these are my eyeshadow palettes i've got three different drawers full of like eyeshadow palettes which is nuts to say um uh, the least of because i just i have so many and i don't i don't know oh my god the hiccups i don't know what to do all right, so here we are, Diva Fam. Let's jump into it. Like I said, I've got three different drawers here. Um, I don't know how much of these I'm actually going to get rid of, though, this time around. Although I do need to play more with my eyeshadow palettes because I stay playing with, like, one over there almost every single day. Um, yeah, and I, I have a, a heart. Like, this is a Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette that I never played with before I realized that she was, like, discontinuing her company. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill Strawberry Feels palette. This was like one of her last collections that she came out with. Um, and it's a very beautiful palette. Very, very beautiful. I will say that. So I do want to play with it, but at the same time, like, can I even talk about it? Because you guys can't even get these anymore. So that's the crazy part. Along with the other Jaclyn Hill palette that I found at Marshall's. This beautiful one. Which have these, all these neutrals, but these really beautiful greens and grays. Like, are those not just stunning? Are those just not stunning? They are. So, like, I want to keep those. Um, this latte... Oh, my God. Ow. My ankle. Ow. Sharp pain. Um, this Dominique Cosmetics one, I play with this one all the time. This is the Latte 2 palette. Um, I have the Nudie Patootie palette, which I do really love that one. This is the Candy Skies palette. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I forgot I had that shade in there. See, I knew I had a few palettes that had that shade in there. Okay, anyways. The Dominique Cosmetics, the Moment one. Super pretty. Like, this is like my influencer drawer almost. So is the one below it is also my influencer one. Because I have the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette. I've got the um Nikki Tutorials her first eyeshadow palette that she came out with before she had her whole entire brand of Nimia 
like this this palette is is so good and just a plus in the packaging you know what i mean and then i've got the michaela x glam light palette so like you know i'm not getting rid of those that's not happening darling that's not happening at all um okay what else what else put these back in here actually um, I've got the one size palette in here. Again, neutrals. Now these two right here are newer ones. This is the 12 Cosmetics that I got from a girl when I was in my recent new store opening. Um, she was very kind to give this to me. She thought my makeup was really pretty. Um, I just don't know anything about her brand, um, about her. And it does have her all of her own stuff, but I'm unsure if this is like a real palette. Like some, I know that there's like, I don't know what it's called. Like someone puts together a palette and you just slap your own label on it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what this is. Also, I don't like the ingredients that are on the back of this. Um, which is why I don't want to keep this. So I apologize to her. But I did swatch it on live. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't like the ingredients that are in that. And then I just got this palette from my friend Alexia. I almost think this is the same thing though. Which is kind of scary. This is a brand called Smear, Cos Smear Campaign Cosmetics. The front of the packaging is kind of cool. It's just like a sticker on top of a matte black packaging. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. I bought it to support him. Um, realistically, I really wanted these glitters that were in here um, that I really want to try out. And then that's the rest of the palette. So I actually want to try this out on a, not a live, but a like actual try on video for TikTok. So I will end up doing that sometime soon. Um, I just haven't had time to do it yet, but that is a really cool palette. So I'm keeping that one. But we are getting rid of the other one for sure. So I'm sorry. Sorry, girl, but I just, I can't, I can't keep it. Um, okay, Jaclyn Hill, One Size, Dominique Cosmetics. I'm starting to get a headache right now. That is really weird. Don't know why. I have nowhere, but I am getting a headache. Okay, so I didn't really make any strides in that one. Um, that was the third drawer. Okay, so then the second drawer is also my influencer drawer. I have the other Lunar Beauty one, which actually that should be over here with the other one. Then we have, let's see, what else is over here? Yeah, Lunar Beauty, Lunar Beauty. The only thing I can think of is to get rid of these two. I These are Kathleen Lights. These are from ColourPop. I love these, love, love, love these, but, and I still play with them, honestly, but I have so many other palettes in my makeup collection that I have same, similar shades and aren't as old, but it's ColourPop. ColourPop's formula just is, is timeless. Like, it's timeless. But I know they've changed their formula to where it's better than this. And, yeah, so I think it's time to get rid of those and pass those on, which is so sad to say. I also have this Nikita Dragon one, which says who's the baddest of them all. And I've yet to play with it. But it's stunning. It's beautiful. But I think her brand is discontinued as well, which is another reason I'm... Slightly upset I never played with it when she still had the brand. Um, but this is in Ditsy, Baked Baddie, Sailor, Dragon, Aquarius, and Hex Girl. That black shape, though, looks real pretty. Real pretty. So, I... Oh, I'm really upset with myself that I never played with this. Really upset. So, we're going to close that drawer. And we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Okay, this drawer I probably have a few things I probably could get rid of, or maybe not. This is the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. 
Um, it's pretty, but I have other palettes that are, have similar shades in them, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This is a Vizzy Art all, like, just neutrals palette, but Vizzy Art is no longer a brand from what I remember someone telling me. I think Alexia told me that, that Vizzy Art is no longer a brand. Is that true? Vizzy Art Cosmetics? No. Oh my god. Busy Art. Um, apparently you can still buy Busy Art on Beautylish. Um, and on Amazon. And I think that's it. Okay, Busy Art. It says Busy Art Paris. It's still a brand. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Zoeva palette. It just doesn't speak to me. So we're going to get rid of that one. Um, this little Makeup Revolution one, we can get rid of that. My e.l.f. one, which is my ride or die, she's been through it. She's been through it. But if I have the Vizzy Art one, I'm going to go ahead and just trash this one because it's broken um, and a few of those shades. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is my Juvia's Place, the Rebel Army. I have other green shades like this in my makeup collection, so we don't necessarily need this one. So we'll just go ahead and pass that on. Then we have, let's see. I feel like, this is really hard for me to say, I've had this palette in here forever. I recently played with it for the first time. But this palette just is like too loud for me. And it's not my jam, so I feel feel like I know a girl or two that might really appreciate that palette. But I do love all my other Norvina palettes, or Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This one, love this one. Renaissance one, gotta stay. Norvina, They're, they are those girls. So I think those are definitely staying in here, for sure. Um, I got this from my friend... And I like it, but it's like, it's too cool tone. It's too neutral. I have so many other palettes that are neutrals. Um, I do like the formula though, I will say. Well, kind of. I feel like it's, it's giving slightly chalky. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pass that on. That's just, it's not, it's not giving me what I want. It's not giving me what I want. Um, what else? I have this Therese Luce one. I thought I was going to love this one, but then I just never played with it. And it's so, it's more neutrals than anything. And I have so many neutral palettes that that one could probably go. What else is over here? I just got that palette. Those are my Queen of Beauty palettes. Those are staying. I just got this Man Eater palette and oh, is she gorgeous. This one I need to play with. I need to play with that one like ASAP. ASAP. Um, my Natasha Denona palettes are not going anywhere. I've got three of them in here. Okay, so I will say though, now that we are talking about Natasha Denona, I have these three big palettes here, um, and then I've got these minis that I don't know if I necessarily need them if I have these bigger palettes. So do I have any similar shades in these palettes to be comparable to, to get rid of some of these? You know what I mean? Because, like, that shade kind of looks like that one. That shade kind of looks like that one. That one's a little bit more on the red tone. Um, but, I'm like, between all these palettes, are there similar shades that are in them to where I can, you know, say it's feasible to get rid of them? That's what I need to look at to see if what similar shades there are and if I truly need all of these. This one I'm going to keep because I don't see anything like that. I think, oh man, I almost feel like I could get rid of all three of these just because I see similar shades in these over here. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get rid of all three of these. Yeah, because that shade's not giving me what I want either. 
So yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of three of those. And we're gonna keep my three big ones. Um, and the one little one. I'm gonna get rid of this wet and wild one. I don't want that one. And then I have my rare beauty ones. These are the only ones that I have, and I still love these. They're gorgeous. So those are going to stay. And I just got this Wander Beauty one. I think it's beautiful. We're going to keep that one for a little bit longer. Oh, and then I also have this one. This one's going to stay. This one needs its moment, and I feel like this is giving summer vibes. You know what I mean? It's giving summer vibes. All right, so we did declutter a few different palettes in here. So all in total of the amount of palettes that I'm getting rid of is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 14 eyeshadow palettes. Maybe 15, should I get rid of this Viseart one? I mean, it's just neutrals. Yeah, I'll get rid of this one too, so 15. 15 eyeshadow palettes in total. Not bad. I could have done better. I could have done better. Could have, would have, should, but didn't. I almost want to get rid of this one. The That's a Tote Bet palette, just because of, like, it's such cool tones and neutrals. Okay, 16. 16. 16 eyeshadow palettes. Okay, but then I also have this mini Pat McGrath right here. Oh god. But then I have the big Pat McGrath. So like, do I have similar shades that are in this little one that are in this big one? Um, kind of. Like those two shades maybe? Okay, well, we'll get rid of this one too. Because we have the big one. And there we go. That is me decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. 17 eyeshadows. Wow. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How you guys thought I did. Have you tried out any of these eyeshadow palettes I talked about? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Would you declutter them or would you keep them? I need to know. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Before we do that, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up because big thumbs up because it helps me so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!